Hey guys, Fighting Pigeon here. And in today's episode, um, we're gonna build uh, whatever the uh, grindstone shop, whatever this villager does. And oh, the first update to this world, I added this fence because there was a villager trying to get in. Like it was a baby villager, and I don't want children in my house. Not right now. And I added on to Tarville. Um, like five or six houses and I think that's kind of it I've kind of added more signs to streets we've got Donkey Lane and Shrek Road Tar Hill Lane Pigeon Drive Testificate Road Cherry Lane Bacon Street Flamingo Street, Donut Drive, and then <coughs> a few down this way. Welcome to BLTville, BLT Lane, Shrek Road, Sushi Drive, yeah, and we're going to build this right here. And I got all these different types of deep slate and stone to add some depth and look to this. It's all dark. It feels dark. Maybe it isn't. To make this kind of large, since I have a lot of grindstones, because I didn't realize I also had all the grindstones in the villager workshop area. And I'll be the door. So now we start to build it up. Trying to randomize it, make it look like a decent place and not where a homeless villager would live. This is really like improving or different, like improvement for like my way of building. I used to suck at building. Could not build without like a template or anything. That'll probably be the top of the house. I was at that wall so that villagers didn't stand back here like that cow if somebody was shooting and the cow would just die. Oh great. Let's see I'll just build up, I guess. It's already night. Well, I, yeah, normally I start the videos after the night, like in the morning, but I kind of forgot that. Where's the deep slate? I used a lot of deep slate and stuff on this.
Alright. Now we just need the ceiling. I'm gonna go to sleep and come back. Luckily, there's a lot of houses with just a bed in it. Wonder if. Because I don't know if anybody. There's just a bunch of random villagers that don't sleep. Maybe I'm just going to bed early or whatever for the villagers, but I swear that they, they some are, some villagers just don't sleep like other villagers do. Made it quite tall. Hopefully that's not too big of a deal. It just feels really tall for um like a house or a workstation area. One torch. That'll do. Probably should well, have two. That's why it was probably so bright in here. They're at least keep monsters from spawning. Because we don't want the villagers to die. That guy's like on a mission. He's like running. It's like, I must save the villagers. I'm not going to add... A Maybe I am going to floor. Maybe just one block, though. I don't have a shovel, though. I won't deal with that now. Now we're just going to add these... Grindstones into Maybe I'll add a staircase. Hmm. Maybe not. It's just like one block short of it kind of being awkward and tight. Let's go grab those other grindstones. One, two, three. Don't know why I'm counting. Okay, there weren't that many. Just nine. Just still probably a lot. So now I have like 27 of these. Probably never run out of these guys. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe I'll go get a shovel and try to replace that floor because it just looks really plain on the floor. What tree to go down? Soon I'm gonna have to start building out of oak because I'm running out of spruce. Like, I need to replant the spruce trees if I want to build out a spruce. Or I'll have to go, like, kind of far away. But at the same time, I want to extend the village this way. And not just have this be the furthest part of the village from in this direction. Which is, like, one house down. Let me make shovels. Oh, great. Hello? Dude... I just punched him by accident, right in front of you. I'm just gonna let that slide. Not say anything. I, like, had my sword ready to, or I was, like, ready to fight. Oh, dang it. No. The grindstones break. They can't float. That's annoying. Or I better place some back. Or else this guy will quit his job. He might have already. Where's a cobblestone at? 
This floor is going to literally just be cobblestone now. You, you got to get out of here, bro. One way or another, you're leaving. Thank you. really annoying. working in like a warehouse or something for some creepy ways. Uh -oh. Excuse me, sir. I don't need to get through. Mike, can you move? Thanks, Mike. Make sure I grab that stuff. I'm missing a single grindstone, I will know. Probably not, but... You don't like deep sit blocks on the floor? Awkward. Now it's complete. What what type of villager is this again? Grindstone villager, weapons, smith. So if there was a villager in here. So this video is probably getting longer and longer. What are you guys doing over here? You're supposed to be trading. Go back. This is my ravine. And my cow. Probably lava down there. It looks like it's lit. Maybe those villagers coming to tell you guys to come back. Or the Zion Gold. I'm just gonna wait in here. So I, I want to get the villager type for the title. What should I build next? This will go see all day. So we're running out of blocks already. Soon this will be empty and I'll probably just put more random blocks in here. Goal is to like take out all the blocks and then make house for uh, merch station houses for everything, and then put more of every type in here. You can make this or this or this or this or this. I want to make brewing stands for like a wizard shop of some kind, but not right now at least. Maybe a library. I just need more books. That's probably gonna be a later project. Like once I get to um towards the end game or something. Let's see what type of villager is this? Weaponsmith. A bane of Arthur. Okay, got yeah, it. That's what you're doing. Blow up the house. Blow up the house. We've got bane of arthropods. Well, uh, I think that's it for this video. I'll build cartography place next time. So I'll see you guys next time.